This magnetic chuck is locked in the off position, and no matter how hard I try, I can't get the mechanism to switch. Let's take it apart and have a look. The problem's pretty apparent. Corrosion and bacterial growth. Hey, uh, Paul, were you eating eggs when assembling the mag chucks again? To prevent another pandemic, I'm gloving up while doing this. Now for me assessing this, this part is the issue. This part should have some backlash. I've got no movement at all, so I know for certain I've got an issue here. Don't know about the rest, but we'll tackle this first. Ooh, we got movement. Oh, yes. The magnets are firmly stuck to the top plate, and knowing how strong they are, I'm not going to risk taking these out because it's too dangerous. Now that I've got it apart, I can have a look at this little pin here. It had been working its way loose for a while, and we can soon see why. The thread is practically stripped, and the pin is worn down. As it turns out, there's enough material here to retap this hole, so let's do that. The original pin is no good anymore, so we'll make a new one. A round needle file is a great way to clean up your threads. It knocks any burr off the crest and you're good to go. While we've got the mag chuck apart, I thought it would be a good opportunity to have a look at what actually makes it work when you operate the lever. Let's take a look. The magnets inside the mag chuck actually shift when you turn it on and off. The steel bars between the magnets are actually what carry the magnetic field. In the off position, the steel bars line up in the trough between the poles, and therefore no magnetic field is carried. And in the on position, the steel bars actually line up with the ridges. And this allows the magnetic field to pass down through all the steel, and out through all the poles in the top surface. And with everything apparently working, we'll seal it up and give it a try. I'm going to take it over to the surface grinder and give it a quick dust off on both sides. After all, it is a precision work holding device. And damn heavy too. Ugh. 
Ugh. I really need to make a set of precision ground flat stones. Don't worry, we'll get there. I'm actually planning to use this mag chuck over at the mill. Anyway, I want to use this for unconventional work holding. I want to clamp a large flat plate to the mill. And I want to use a face mill. <laughs> 